So, so I'm Mark Rashow, and I'm the head of uh, U.S. Africa Children's Fellowship. Uh, my wife and I started this organization in 2003 after we went to a trip to a wedding in Africa. And then we visited schools. The schools had very little of anything. They had no books, no school supplies, no toys, no sports equipment. And uh, since I was a teacher for 34 years, I, I started teaching in 1966, a long time ago, I'm very old. Uh, I had, I'm connected to a lot of schools, uh, maybe 50 schools. So I decided to go back home, contact a lot of schools, see if they would help. So we started with 35 schools in New York, with 35 schools in Zimbabwe and we partnered them up. I bought a container, we started a nonprofit, and we started shipping. So we started with 35 schools, then went to 75 schools, then went to 175 schools. In Zimbabwe now, it's 300 schools. Then we went into Ghana, South Africa, Nigeria, and Tanzania. And so we've been doing that since 2003. And we've shipped now 45, 40 foot containers to schools in Africa. And we have different partners in each country. So when we ship to a country, our partner gets the container, they break it down, they distribute it to the schools, and, uh, and it's been amazing. Sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, we ship three containers to Tanzania, and then went to Tanzania to see where everything was and we didn't know where a lot of it went, so we left. We stopped working with them and uh, we terminated the relationship. My shipping company is uh, Missionary Expeditors. That's the ones who ship all my containers to all the countries. They have an annual conference in New Orleans that I never went to. Because I thought, why do I want to go to a shipping conference but I finally went three years ago, and that's where I met uh, Amen from United Muslim Relief. And they ship containers all over the world to refugees. Uh, about two years ago, uh, we decided to see if we could help refugees in my, my organization. And we came up with the idea of getting 40 schools together each of them collecting a single thing. So one school collected clothing, one school collected uh, shoes, one school collected toys, school supplies. And on one specific day, all the schools would come together and load a container. And we, so when we, I got the schools together and they agreed to do this, I then went back to Amen from United Muslim Relief, because we had talked about shipping. And he says, this is fine with me and I'll pay for the container. I'll pay for it wherever you decide to send it. So I said, so where should we send it? You know, it doesn't make a difference to me if I send it to this country, this country, or this country, as long as there's a need and it gets where it's going. I don't care, okay? He said that we are well established in Jordan and we've been working with the Syrian refugees for years, so the easiest thing for us is if, if you ship to Jordan. So two years ago was the first year that we tried to do this project. Uh, and it was enormously successful. Uh, we shipped two 40-foot containers to Amman. I took 12 teachers with me to Amman. I went to Amman. We went to the refugee camps, we gave out the donations that we got, and it was wonderful. Uh, so we decided to do it again this year. Uh, I work closely with uh, Robert Carroll's office. Uh, he's my assemblyman in Park Slope. He's the one, or they are the ones that introduced me to Mo uh, from Copo. That's how they say, you gotta visit this guy. So I said, fine, and I went to visit him at his headquarters on Coney Island Avenue, and uh, uh, we liked each other a lot. 
Uh, I think he's a great guy, he's very dedicated, and that's how I got connected uh, to you guys. But it was United Muslim Relief, uh, I said, so where should we ship this year? And he said, for us, the best places are Yemen, Somalia, and Bangladesh. And that was our goal, was to try and ship at least one container to each country. Bangladesh did not work out because of all the regulations and all the paperwork that we had to clear uh, and we couldn't do it. So we're hoping that next year we can send to Bangladesh. So I developed a relationship with you guys. I went to a number of your events, uh, one at the museum, one, I don't know. Bazaar. Where, I don't remember. Wherever, uh, there was one on Fifth Avenue. Right, February. right, right. So, right, right. And, and you guys are wonderful. You know, dedicated, you want to help. So I, you know, I was, I'm happy to work with, with you guys. And the day that, the two times that you brought your donations to us in uh, Greenpoint, it was almost too much. I, it's, I wanted to go home and then another car would arrive and I wanted yeah. to go home and then another car would arrive and, and I couldn't go home. I, you know, and then at the end we had no room left. So we had to say, come back next week because we, we couldn't put it anywhere. So I'm, I'm happy to do this stuff. And again, I've been doing this for 16 years or so. And the expectation is that we will continue to do this. Now, we have two containers that are on their way to Yemen. I'm hoping that this all works out for the best. It's five refugee camps that you would like to uh, distribute to. I have no idea if it's possible. I don't know if the port is here and the camps are here, 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 and here, if you can get to them. I don't know if the road is safe. So we have to find all that out. Just because we want to do it and they need it, doesn't mean that we can do it. Also, we don't know how big the camps are. The Yemenese Women Association has been amazing. I mean, they have contacted all their friends, all their relatives. They've loaded up boxes and boxes of stuff in cars, vans, and trucks. And it was almost too much for me to handle. And uh, you, you've been amazing and wonderful. And the only problem is the countries to make yeah. sure that it works. And that's the hardest part. You know, there, I have work in South Africa and other countries where we can't ship, certain, I can't ship pencils. I can't ship clothing to some places. So this is a test, this first, right. these first two shipments. Hopefully it'll work out, but if it doesn't work out, we can fix it, and we can find another way to do this. So, it's the beginning, right? this all is the beginning. Don't think of it, you know, that all of this has to get there on this shipment. If it doesn't get there on this shipment, we can work together to get the next one there. Same thing with Africa. They're, in the beginning, they used to fight over the shipments because they all wanted it, you know, and they all needed it. They all wanted pencils, they all wanted shoes, they all wanted soccer balls. But once they understood that we were shipping once or twice a year, they always said, okay, if I don't get it now, I'll get it the next time. And you have to understand the same thing. We will do our best, we will try to make it as fair as we can. We'll see. I'm also suggesting, I'm trying to do over there, that if the Yemeni Women's Association can find a few people on the ground in Yemen, when they go to the camps, they go with the trucks. And they can take pictures, they can photograph. I also suggest that the next time you get something that says Yemeni Women's Association, a big sticker, sticker you put it on all your boxes, and then when it gets to the camp and you're taking photographs, you can see Yemeni's Women Association, and everybody who sees the video knows that it works. Mm -hmm. That I put it in the box, it went on the ship, and, and it got it. there. Because oh. everybody wants to know that not somebody's not stealing my stuff. No, I'm saying you, you, you who breaks it up there is your consignee. We can't have five different organizations telling the consignee, I want this to go here, this to go there. It's too complicated, and it doesn't work. 
You will tell me where you want it to go. We will try and figure out together what the priority is and can we get it to those places. And then we will do our best to get it there. And again, if it doesn't get there the first time, we can try and get it there the second time. Okay? Again, it is. I it's a work in process. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a work in process. We will make the mistakes. Right are in, I, in the I they will pay for them. This was my era. I believe when I when I shipped to Jordan, they had a network there. They had people on the ground. They had warehouses. They had trucks. Yeah. So once it got there, they took care of everything. That's not true in all the countries, and they cannot afford to find a consignee that demands to pay for the labor, yeah, the trucks, the and the warehouses. The so we have to find consignees that can cover those expenses themselves. So it's it's complicated. But there's no reason to uh, not to expect that all this will work and get better as we go. It's a time when we heed a certain call When the world must come Together as one, there are people dying. We did, we did have enough. Oh, the heavens are just empty. Okay. Oh, yeah. اليمن تنتين شاحنات الآن وتوجهات إن شاء الله للمينا إن شاء الله بالتوفيق يا رب وخلق السلامة لليمن لمنظمة نساء اليمن